Over a thousand years ago, when the Earth's climate was a few degrees warmer than today, the Norwegian Vikings, led by Eric the Red, settled in South Greenland. 500 years later, what remained of the Viking civilization were a few crumbling stone walls. The demise of the Vikings remains an archaeological mystery, and while we may never know exactly why the society collapsed, there are many interesting theories. Using data from ice cores and lake sediments, researchers know that the temperatures in Greenland began to plunge in the 13th century, around the time when the Vikings abandoned their small farms and gathered in larger settlements. Some scientists believe that this small animal may be partially responsible for this. It's hard to believe that an animal as small as a caterpillar could help bring down a civilization of ancient warriors. While only one caterpillar may not be able to eat very much, there are some years where thousands of these animals suddenly appear on the landscape, and together they can cause a lot of damage. One of these caterpillar outbreak years occurred in Kangerlussuaq, Greenland in 2011. Several hillsides of dwarf birch were completely defoliated by the Eurosis occulta caterpillars, the same species that may have destroyed the Viking crops in the 13th century. In 2016, students in the Joint Science Education Project revisited the sites decimated by the caterpillars in 2011 to try and understand how plant and insect communities were responding to the disturbance. The students also conducted an experiment to learn how caterpillar growth rates are affected by temperature. As an ecologist fascinated by species interactions, I am interested in questions such as what regulates irregular population outbreaks of caterpillars in the Arctic, and how will rapidly changing environmental conditions affect the abundance of mosquitoes on the landscape? Not only are insects the most diverse group of animals on the planet, they contribute more biomass than all other animals combined. As American biologist and researcher E.O. Wilson puts it, it's the little things that run the world. Although they may be hard to see, insects are the true movers and shakers of most ecosystems, and our human existence is shaped by complex webs of interaction that include even the smallest of creatures on our planet. Telling stories in drops of